Hey guys, we are the 732 Review Crew, and I am Mikey. I'm Joe. And I'm Mike. And we are here starting a brand new TV show for us. It is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And it is as requested by our fans on the Firefly show, uh, Firefly show we did. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a definitely yeah. the definition of a 90s TV show. And in, from my memory, I watched it as a kid. It was my mom's favorite TV show. So, I will say, I really don't know anything about this show and i've never seen an episode i may have seen clips or stuff randomly but yeah. I, I won't be able to be like oh i know that's a buffy clipper you know it just it, i don't know anything yeah there's only one clip that i've seen that i distinctly know is buffy and it was wait don't i don't want to no 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 it, it's literally just a random scene and she blows up a demon with a bazooka okay uh, Which yes. is the vibe I'm looking for in a TV yeah, show. Uh, well, the, the only thing you guys need to know is there's a lot of supernatural stuff, very yeah. spiritual stuff going on yeah. in the show. The horror um, thriller show from the '90s, somewhat. It has that. Is it horror? Yeah, I mean, that's what some of the fans. Yeah, are saying, kind so. of like okay. pseudo. Like it right. definitely has seen episodes where it's more in that realm. Like some, a, some are going to be more like a coming of age of like okay. you know someone yeah. dealing with being like you know no. uh, a regular teenage girl and uh, uh, like a the vampire hunter. One, you right. know, so <laughs> uh, I can't wait to find out though. So we are very excited to start this. Now we have just recently launched a Patreon, and for every season of a TV show we do, we will be releasing one episode for free, full length, and that's the first episode. So that means anybody who's new to our channel and new to us, you can find this full-length reaction for free on our Patreon. You don't have to pay or anything. It is available for free again. So go on over there and check it out. And if you do enjoy that, and if you enjoy our full-length, you can support us if you'd like. It's not required. Otherwise, we will be releasing, as of right now, an episode every Sunday. And if we do find time to release more, we absolutely will. But for right now, our schedule usually you know, is a little tight. And for between our real-life jobs and this, we just have you know the one Sunday slot right now. Besides that, though, we are very excited to start. Yeah, what we yeah. do here, let us know in the comments below. Say hi, welcome to our channel. Let us know your favorite part of this, you know, first episode, the discussion, or, you know, just that. Just please don't try to spoil anything for us. We are, you know, very keen on avoiding spoilers for most things. Uh, besides that, we are going to be watching, I believe, the original 4-3 format, not widescreen, as well as starting from episode one. So, yeah. Like I said, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Say hi, you're new here. Like the video if you do enjoy it and subscribe. Otherwise, we're starting Buffy season one, episode one, titled Welcome to Hellmouth in three, two, and one. And let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm mystified right now. Blast from the past. Definitely got some Joss uh, cameras going on right now. Oh, yeah. Pretty creepy school. <sighs> I was just gonna say, schools are so much cooler in the 90s. So we're kids. Did you go to school here? I used to. On top of the gym, it's so cool. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> Whoa! Oh. What the fuck? Yeah, buddy. Huh? I I thought it was going the other way. I thought he was the vampire. No. Nope. No, but she she's the vampire. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, dude? No. Wait, oh, dude, intro. I forgot this. Intro, hold on. Oh, dude. I love 90s intros. Oh yeah! Oh, it's it's again. Again. oh my god. I love this intro. This gives me some great vibes. Uh, can we go back to the 90s, please? No. I mean, we're there right now, dude. You don't feel it? Love it. Some intense dreams, huh? Hey, you don't remember being in high school dreaming about stuff like this? Buffy? Oh, this is Buffy. I'm up, Mom. I guess I just moved there. Yeah, and it's her first day. Not even unpacked. School in the nineties. I love nineties fashion so much more than today's fashion, to be honest. No. What do you mean? Absolutely not. It's got a lot of punk and like grunge looks. I love that. Yeah, I love grunge. Okay. And honey. Don't go fighting vampire. I'm trying not to get kicked out. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I never raised you. We're not interested in what it says on a piece of paper, even if it says, well. We put them back together. Colorful <laughs> is the word. You burned down the gym. <laughs> I did. I really did. But, but you're not seeing the big picture here. I mean, that gym was full of vampire. Asbestos. 
So she said she burned out her school last school's gym because she was full of vampires. <laughs> She's got a vampire steak in her bag. Xander is is me. Cool. <laughs> well, um, maybe I'll see you around. Maybe at school. Since <laughs> we both. <laughs> Go there. Wow. Man, that's what it was like when I talked to girls in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no facts. I mean, you know, they weren't her either. <laughs> oh, hey. You forgot your hey, vampire steak. Not your steak. <laughs> oh, chalkboards. Ugh. That about Willow. Nice dress. Good to know you've seen the softer side of Sears. Oh, bitch. Oh, well, 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 my mom picked it up. No wonder you're such a guy magnet. Are you done? Bitch. Poor Willow. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, honestly. Man, school's tough, dude. If you come by the bronze tonight, it's still the scene. It's in the bad part of town. What's <laughs> about a half a block from the good part of town? We don't have a whole lot of town here. But... <laughs> this is really, I love the vibe. What a sick library. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, that's a dope say. library. Yeah, god, wow, that's a cool library. So, um, I'm gonna need perspectives on 20th century. I know what you're after. <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. Are you sure? I'm way sure. <laughs> what kind of name is Buffy? Hey, Aphrodisia. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have in blue and she's Yikes. Yeah, I bet. Wow. See? That's the danger of spreading gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Uh, hi. Willow, right? Why? Uh, um, <laughs> did you want me to move? But aren't you hanging out with Cordelia? I can't do both. Not legally. <laughs> Look, I really want to get by here. I heard a rumor that you were the person to talk to if I wanted to get caught up. Oh, I could totally help you out. Aww. It's period three, we could meet in the library. Or not. Or not. That place just kind of gives me the Wiggins. Oh, it has that effect on most kids. I love it, though. It's a great collection, and the new librarian is really cool. He's new? Yeah, he just started. He was curator at some British museum or... Or the British Museum. The British Museum. He knows everything and he... The only thing I can think is that you're building a really little fence. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... Actually, it was for self-defense. Everyone has them in L.A. Pepper spray is just so... <laughs> That's like a steak. You know, if you need a shoulder to cry on, or just to nibble on... How did he die? I don't know. Well, were there any marks? Morbid much. Um, I got a book. I'll I'll see you guys later. That's so sus. Yeah. That's her deal. Yeah, even she got Cordelia knows. <laughs> Hella sus. Paul. What? How strong is she? Oh great. He's got two little little holes in his neck, and all his blood's been drained. Isn't that bizarre? Aren't you just going, ooh? I was afraid of this. Oh man. I wasn't. I didn't think there'd be vampires on campus. And I don't care. Oh, why can't you people just leave me alone? Because you are the slayer. He is the slayer. Each generation a slayer is born. One girl in all the world, a chosen one, one born with a strength. Strength and skill to hunt the vampires, to stop the spread of their evil blah blah blah. I've heard it. Dig a bit in the history of this place and you'll find a a steady stream of fairly odd occurrences. I believe this whole area is a center of mystical energy. They're all real. What? Do you like Santa Away for the Time Life series? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Did you get the free phone? Um, the calendar. <laughs> cool. I'm a watcher. I, I haven't the skill. Oh, come on. Stake through the heart, a little sunlight. It's like falling off a log. Uh, uh, Slayer slays. A uh, watcher. Watches? He trains her. He, 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 he prepares her. Prepares me for what? For getting kicked out of school? For losing all of my friends? Go ahead. Prepare me. She's pretty prepared. She's sassy. Yeah, she's real sassy. I like it. She's a teenage girl in the 90s. He's just an upbeat British dude who moved 
halfway across the world to help you. But, okay, he was him. the curator of the British Museum. <laughs> the British Museum. <laughs> Who was it? A British Museum. Oh, oh damn. Xander. How did he not know Xander was there? He works in the library. This is Sunnydale. How bad and evil can there be here? <laughs> hey, look under that bush. I'll under that bush. This seedy underground of Sunnyvale. It's the bad part of town. It's a half block from the good part of town. <laughs> Just down. Never say which way. <laughs> this literally looks like the Skyrim vampire area. Damn, he ugly. Amen. Can vampires say amen? You just did. Damn, you're right. I know. No, oh, you're a good girl, Buffy. You just fell in with the wrong crowd. But that is all behind us. <laughs> About it that. Is. No purse or anything, huh? Just... Didn't have a cell phone back in the 90s that you needed to walk around with. Yeah, but where's the state? Or her wallet? An alleyway. Oh, no, she went a half a block too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at her. Wow. She's so fucking crazy. Why are you following me? I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. I don't bite. The truth is, I thought you'd be taller or bigger muscles and all that. What I want is to be left alone. Do you really think that's an option anymore? You're standing at the mouth of hell. Huh. And it's about to open. You've got to be ready. What for? For the harvest. Yikes. Who are you? Let's just say I'm a friend. Who is this person? I know who it is. I feel like he's Shut a vampire. Shut up, Joe. I didn't say I was yours. Oh. He's definitely a vampire, right? I think. I think. He's one of them self hating vampires. Oh, it can't be. You can't cross. He didn't touch it, though. It was in a box. Mm. Cover charge? Just five bucks here, yeah. <laughs> Cover charge. I will say, 90s bar music is definitely better. Willow's oh. there. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, are you here with someone? No, I'm just here. <laughs> I thought Xander was going to show up. Oh, are you guys going out? No, we're just friends. When I'm with a boy I like, it's hard for me to say anything cool or, or weird I relate, or at all. I, I can usually make a few vowel sounds and then I have to go away. <laughs> I think boys are more interested in a girl who can talk. You really haven't been dating lately. <laughs> this is a perfect breeding ground for vampire activity. It's dark, it's crowded. Besides, I knew you were likely to show up, and I have to make you understand. That the harvest is coming, I know. Your friend told me. What did you say? The harvest. Wh who told you this? This guy. Dark, gorgeous, and annoying sort of way. <laughs> I figured you two were buds. No. He was gorgeous, though. <laughs> <laughs> In an annoying sort of way. It's not as though you've been having the nightmares. Uh-oh. What nightmares? Now that you mention it. You look great. Well, I'm glad we had this little chat. <laughs> Listen, uh, you know, wanna dance? You know? Yeah, see, is that his name? Hey, man, keep shooting your shot. Yeah, man. Right? Like, he's like six foot, like four. He's... He looks like vaguely familiar, though, right? Mm. Michael Phelps, kind of. Witness me, probably. Oh, no, is a vampire gonna get him? I like him, kind of. Can you tell me if there's a vampire in this building? Maybe. You should know. Even through this mass and this... Uh, There's one. W where? Right there, talking to that girl. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, please. Look at his jacket. He's got the sleeves rolled up and the shirt. Deal with that outfit for a moment. <laughs> don't tell me it's actually a vampire. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's Willow. Isn't that... Willow. You did this, Buffy! <laughs> he does kind of look like a vampire. He looks like the 80s, dude. <laughs> Oh, nothing better about it happen to Willow. I like Willow. Like her own steak. I love it. Bro, what? She's super strong. <laughs> Table dude. chair. Yeah. She's super strong, dude. She's gotta be. Awkward. Excuse me. I have to call.
call everyone I have ever met right now. Oh, uh, tell her about that. Oh, it's two. Uh oh. Darla. Darla. You know, I think it's I just Darla. Around before. You from around here? Not for too. Pretty much. I must be ready. I need my strength. I know a shortcut. Come in this dark, spooky cave. It's a cemetery, dude. It's a cemetery. Or is there anyone in this town who doesn't know I'm the Slayer? No. I only know that you think that you're the Slayer. You're serious. We don't find her, and there's gonna be one more dead body in the morning. There's actually gonna be two. Oh no. I think I'm gonna go. Is that what you think? Uh oh. Hey, up. <laughs> oh, he got bitten. Oh no. Oh. I liked him. Nice. Hey, hey, Buffy. It's a little bare, but a dash of paint, a few throw pillows, call it home. Now, we can do this the hard way, or, well, actually, there's just the hard way. Go! Violence, strong language, adult content. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> One bogey. Go, go! See what happens when you rough house? <laughs> what are these fights? Shut up, I love it. It's so good. You know, I just wanted to start over. To 90s. Hey, man. <laughs> Couldn't go suck on my mother town. Who are you? Don't I'm you know? Uh oh. I don't care. Oh! Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're strong. Ooh. Yikes. I'm stronger. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Where's that cross that she got given? Oh, that's got to hurt. Uh -huh. When the blood of men will flow as wine. When the master will walk among them once more. Where's the cross, Buffy? Oh, in her pocket. Oh God. I figured that was the entrance to the crypt. The floor. Oh, creepy. What? What? <laughs> wow. Fuck. And leave it to the '90s to leave you on a good cliffhanger. I'm like, yeah, oh, honestly. Honestly, why, why is this not? Joe, please. Just cover my face when I'm fine. I need to get a good angle, okay? <laughs> Sir. Thank you. Um, so. First episode of Buffy. I actually really had a lot of fun with that episode. I, some people said, you know, oh, it's going to, you know, be rough. It's going to take over. No, that was great. See, two seasons. <laughs> no, I, okay. Despite the roughness, that was really great. You know, there was a, a concurrent plot. I, I almost forgot how much I missed the 90s. You know, sometimes when I'm at home and I'm bored watching TV, I'll watch Seinfeld and, and yeah. with friends at night before I go to bed. Oh, they're, yeah. they're on TV. And I'm like, you know, those give me some really good feels about the 90s because they're about people living in the 90s. Is Seinfeld from the 90s? 80s to 90s, I think. Mm -hmm. late friends is like late. Yeah, 90s, Friends is the 2000s. 2000s. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but like, you know, this, for example, this is just teenage girl in the 90s. Found a new school, you know, whereas, you know, that was a focus on a group of friends and you like, you know, but the big thing is it's, it's just so cool to see going to school, the different attitudes the kids had, you know, the, the, just the outfit, the clickiness, the clickiness it still exists, but you know, the different slugs more muted, the slang, all the stuff they were talking about was great. What's slang? The, they Neg they were saying, yeah, they were, say, oh, they were saying stuff like, come on. Yeah, there's a lot of the others. I was like. I can't. What did she mean by that? <laughs> she said it. Well, I can't say off the top of my head like some of the things they said, but I know for sure there was a lot of use of slang as well as phrases from the '90s that we don't use anymore for certain hey, things. I didn't hear a single person say bozo. But, but like you okay. said, like it's you know, she went out. Classic. Psych. She went out without her uh, a, a bag. 
which is unheard of in these days for a girl to go out with a bag. Now, why? Because she doesn't have a phone. All she has to do is have her ID and money if she wants. You know, she doesn't even need an ID because she's a high school student. Probably just has money in her well, pocket. Well, that's what I was joking. Yeah. I was like, where's she keeping the steak? Yeah. Oh, well, she didn't. Yeah, she broke yeah. up a stool. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's just so, you know, it's so cool to see the different fashion. And I, I'm a big fan of 90s music, Sean. You know, I'm big with, like, you know, punk and like, all that stuff type of music. And just getting some style of that music in, like, you know, the opening with, like, how the intro is. And even the bar band playing, you know, was like a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. we get it. 90, 90s, 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 
the occult. So I, would... I mean, Van Helsing invented a crossbow to kill vampires like 700 years ago, well, and she's using a wooden stake. Van Helsing had helpers, yeah, you know, it wasn't exactly. just Van Helsing. Yeah, but, but she was also supposed to keep it a secret, but didn't he say? I mean, we don't even know if Van Helsing's part of the lineage. Yeah, though, he know. probably should. Um, it's, it's just so cool to see, because also you could assume that the master is an original vampire based on his design. Yeah, he seems that, like one of the an elder, Like an elder one yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. for so long and, you know, lost his like form partially. And the other ones, you know, they're clearly more human in the sense that they probably drank. Uh, they probably are, you know, his. Um, what's the word? Uh, from so from what we do in the shadows, they always talk about it. It's um, it's it's what a hu- It's like with the person that a vampire helps a vampire. Oh, uh, oh, a familiar. A familiar, yeah. yes. So they might have been familiars <laughs> to start, and eventually got given, like you know, Gilead. I, I mean, sure. Um, but I mean, you yeah, digging much. real deep off the start. Yeah, the show I'm really I mean, enjoying this one. It's just it's good. It's, you know, just, who was the mysterious stranger? Uh, you know, he's a vampire. He's, he's probably a vampire. He's got to be. I don't vampire. know what kind of vampire he is. If he's not a vampire, but he's definitely demonic. I like how that they they made like just a big, you know, a big point to note that the town's called like Sunnyville. Was Sunny Sunnyvale? Sunnyvale, and it's the mouth of hell. Yeah, yeah. So you know, this nice sunny whoa, This town is so small, you can walk one block over and be in the bad part. Is going to be the home of like the, the the apocalypse. Buffy's going to have to fight it while trying to do midterms. We also know Buffy has the strength of an Olympian. Oh, more than that. Yeah, more than that. She's like, hey, it won't open. A <laughs> chill. <Achoo." laughs> Jesse, because Jesse wasn't fully drained of his blood, but he was bitten by a vampire. Now, if he doesn't, if you drain partially of your blood, but you don't drink the other vampire's blood, are you fine? Curious. The show will probably tell us, but that's just a, a question I have. I believe so. I mean, it makes sense. I think an actual vampire. Like, like he just like best. went. Well, like, because full sometimes they feed on people. I, yeah, I, I, had <laughs> I had fun. I mean, it's first episode. I'm like, I'm excited to s- explore this universe. I, and Mikey's like, bah, 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 bah. Well, I was like, hey, do you guys want to go in the pool? And you're like, I'll put my feet in. And Mikey just did like the biggest cannonball ever <laughs> off the roof. <laughs> I love. I love you know, thing is, I love nostalgia. And even though I've never seen the show, just. Well, first off, the camera. It's given angles. strong like '90s cam- daytime TV. Yeah, yeah. well, the, the dialogue, the angle, problem. yeah, the dialogues, the camera, the production, all that stuff is very, you know, it's, it's obviously Josh Whedon. It's definitely a period and piece. It's, and it's, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's, it's uh, Firefly is, you know, we enjoyed very much. So made by the same writer, produce everything. So it's awesome to see. You know, this obviously came before Firefly, which is part of why Firefly doesn't exist. Um, but the big thing is, it's cool to see the same, you know, hints of flavor from the director Joss. Because, you know, you see how he likes to do stuff with the panning of the cameras and the different angles. And he just, you know, he's just very unique in the way as well. As I mean, even, there's even a lot just of the dialogue vibes frame. that felt the same. Yeah. And like, the che- you know, some of the cheesiness, which I is great. So, yeah. yeah. I really liked it. But uh, I don't really have no anything else to add, shot. surprisingly. That's yeah, there was. It kind of was with the mom and the, and the mom talking to Buffy while they were in the room. And then yeah. it kind of went back and forth, back and forth. And then there was the ones in front of her. Uh-huh. I, th- mm-hmm. I don't know, but besides that, though, I really don't have anything else to add except I'm very excited for the second episode, and uh, you know we have to jump right into it. Yeah, I, I'm definitely um, I'm I'm getting some serious flashbacks, and I kept thinking about the whole time. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh oh yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> They're familiar. <laughs> yeah, man, it's always surprising to me because like I just haven't thought about Buffy in a while so but I, I'm, I'm definitely getting a, a lot left. of uh, informational overload in my mind of, yeah. of the memes yeah now I really just I guess I can't wait to start the next yeah. episode so I yeah. think it's nice time to sign off yeah now as a reminder we do have this episode up as a full length for free on our Patreon so check it out you can see watch this entire reaction our first viewing of Buffy for free other than that we are signing off though we have the 732 review crew and I'm Mikey I'm Joe and I'm Mike and we're having a good time with this show we hope you are too bye bye toodaloo